As you know, children resemble their parents. It is because our characteristics such as hair color, height, and many other traits are passed down from our parents. These are called inherited traits as they are transmitted from one generation to another. Gregor Mendel, who lived from 1822 to 1884, was the first scientist to carry out experiments on pea plants. He provided accurate explanations for the mechanisms of inheritance. These explanations were called Mendelian inheritance. Genetics is the branch of biology that deals with the study of heredity and the variation of organisms. The inheritance or heredity is the passing on of characteristics from parents to their children. The term genetics was introduced by William Bateson in 1905. Heredity is responsible for the continuity of life forms. Although offspring and parents in a particular generation may look different, there is a basic similarity that runs from generation to generation. Each generation transfers to the next the instructions required for maintaining the continuity of life. These instructions are in the form of genes, which are located on the chromosomes of a particular organism. A gene is a specific sequence of nucleotides on deoxyribose nucleic acid, or DNA, which codes for a specific protein or polypeptide chain. The position of a gene on a chromosome is called its locus. The total number of genes found in the complete set of chromosomes of an organism is called its genome. A chromosome is a thread-like structure composed of DNA and protein. These are found in the nucleus of the cell. Chromosomes were named by Waldeyer in 1876 because they readily absorb dyes and become stained. Chrome means color and soma means body. Chromosomes vary in number and shape among living things. A certain number of chromosomes are characteristic of each species of plant and animal. Chromosomes are found in pairs. The two chromosomes of a pair are known as homologous chromosomes. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes in their body cells. A fruit fly, or drosophila, has four pairs while a rice plant has 12 pairs of chromosomes. In eukaryotic cells, chromosomes are composed of chromatin material. Chromatin is a complex of DNA and proteins, mainly histone proteins. DNA wraps around eight histone proteins and forms round structures called nucleosomes. A nucleosome is the unit of chromatin. It is made up of an octamer of eight core histones, which are of four types, 2H2A, 2H2B, 2H3, and 2H4. Two strands of DNA are wrapped around it. A linker histone connects the two DNA strands. The diameter of a nucleosome is 10 nanometers. DNA is also present between nucleosomes. The arrangement of nucleosomes and the DNA between them looks like beads on a string. The beads of nucleosomes are condensed and tightly coiled into a compact form, which gives structure to chromosomes. A gene is the segment of DNA, a sequence of nucleotides that contains instructions for the synthesis of a particular protein. The DNA of each chromosome contains thousands of genes. Like chromosomes, genes also occur in pairs, one on each homologous chromosome. The location of a gene on a chromosome is called its locus. Since genes are found in pairs, alleles may be defined as alternative forms of a gene for a particular trait, such as various seed colors. For example, the two alleles of a gene pair for the seed color trait in pea plants are yellow and green. Alleles are located in the same position on a pair of homologous chromosomes. Alleles are separated during gamete formation. Therefore, offspring receive one allele from the mother and one allele from the father. Nucleic acids are organic molecules made up of smaller molecules called nucleotides. Nucleic acid was first discovered in 1869 by a 24-year-old Swiss physician, Friedrich Miescher, from the nucleus of white pus cells. It was a white-colored substance and Miescher named it nuclein. Later on, nuclein was called nucleic acid due to its acidic properties. There are two main types of nucleic acid, deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA and ribonucleic acid or RNA. Both DNA and RNA are made up of nucleotides. P.A. Levine determined the structure of the nucleotide in 1920. A nucleotide consists of three components. First, a pentose sugar. Second, a nitrogen-containing base attached with the first carbon of the pentose sugar. Third, phosphoric acid attached with the fifth carbon of the pentose sugar. There are two types of pentose sugar in nucleic acid deoxyribose in DNA and ribose in RNA. 
The nitrogen-containing bases in nucleic acid are also of two main types, purines, which are double ring structures, and pyrimidines, which are single ring structures. Structure of DNA. DNA is a molecule that contains the instructions an organism needs to develop, live, and reproduce. These instructions are found in every cell and passed down from parents to their children. The structure was explained by James Watson and Francis Crick, with their model proposed in 1953. The main points of the Watson and Crick model of DNA are, one, the DNA molecule is a double helical structure which looks like a ladder. Two, both strands of the DNA molecule are oppositely oriented. If one strand is in the five to three direction, the other is in the three to five direction. Three, the backbone or uprights of the molecule are composed of the sugar and phosphate parts of the nucleotide, while the bases form the rungs. Four, there is specific base pairing between bases, meaning adenine always pairs with thymine, while cytosine always pairs with guanine. Five, there is double hydrogen bonding between adenine and thymine and triple hydrogen bonding between cytosine and guanine. Six, the diameter of DNA is about two nanometers. Seven, the amount of adenine and thymine is always equal, and the amount of cytosine and guanine is always equal in the DNA molecule. Ribonucleic acid, or RNA. The RNA is a single polynucleotide helical chain. In RNA, ribose sugar is present instead of deoxyribose and uracil base is present instead of thymine. There are three types of RNA. First, messenger RNA, or mRNA. It carries the message of DNA for protein synthesis, so it's called mRNA. Second, transfer RNA, or tRNA. It transfers amino acids during protein synthesis, hence it's called tRNA. And third, ribosomal RNA, or RNA. It is a component of the ribosome along with protein. Therefore, it's called rRNA. The central dogma of life explains the role of genes in protein synthesis. Genes contain the information needed for the synthesis of protein molecules. The flow of biological information from DNA to RNA and from RNA to protein is known as the central dogma of life. Protein synthesis takes place in two major steps, transcription and translation. Together, transcription and translation are known as gene expression. Transcription is the first step of gene expression. When a new protein is needed, the two DNA strands in a gene that codes for a protein unzip from each other. A single strand of messenger RNA, or mRNA, is then made by pairing up mRNA bases, adenine, cytosine, guanine, uracil, with the exposed DNA nucleotide bases. After the segment is copied, the DNA is zipped back together into its normal shape. Instead of thymine, uracil is paired with adenine in mRNA. Translation is the second step of gene expression. The mRNA synthesized in the nucleus of the cell moves into the cytoplasm, where it binds to the ribosome. The mRNA code is translated by a transfer RNA, or tRNA, anticodon, which in turn is transferred into a protein sequence. In this process, each set of three mRNA bases, called a codon, will pair with a complementary tRNA base triplet, called an anticodon. There are at least 20 types of tRNA in each cell because for each type of amino acid, a specific tRNA is needed. During protein synthesis in the ribosome, amino acids are linked together by a peptide bond, the bond between two amino acids, to form a polypeptide chain or protein.